Hello friends, welcome to the video series of Artificial Intelligence. My name is Mukesh Barapatre. Today we are going to discuss knowledge representation using logic in Artificial Intelligence. So let's get started. Knowledge representation using logic is a very important topic in your university examination as well as uh, GET examinations. Many questions asked in your GET examinations uh, using predicate logic or propositions logic. So first of all, we have to understand what is logic and uh, then we will discuss about uh, what is the role of logic uh, in inference mechanism in knowledge representations. Okay, so let's discuss. In previous videos, we will discuss about the what is knowledge, what is knowledge properties and what are the knowledge representations properties, which are the different scheme in knowledge representations, what are the different issues in knowledge representations. Okay, so these are the topics in previous section much has been illustrated about the knowledge representations and related issues. In this section, we are going to discuss about knowledge representations using logic. How the knowledge can be represented as a symbol structure that characterize bits of knowledge about the object, concepts, facts, rules and strategies. Okay, so how the knowledge can be represented as a symbol uh, using different different symbols or semantics or we uh, we are going to use different uh, logic or symbol structure. So uh, basically we are going to deal with the object, concepts, facts and rules and strategies. For example, we have a example here, red. Okay, there is a one only word. Okay, red represent the color red. If I am saying car, represent the my car. Okay, if I write this red in a bracket car, so that means red is a color and car is a my car. So I can say that my car is red. Okay, so th this type of examples we are going to deal in knowledge representation using logic. So first of all, we will discuss what is logic is. Now let's understand what is logic. Logic is a concern with the truth of statement about the word. A science that deals with the principles of criteria of validity of inference and demonstrations that is nothing about the logic. For example, we have some facts which is used for reasoning purpose is nothing about the logic. Uh, for example, I am saying that uh, sun rises from the east. So this is a normal statement, but it gives us some inference mechanisms. So I can say that sun always rises from the east. So that is the fact and that is a universal fact and I can use this statement to infer or uh, to reason something. So that type that type of statement or that type of uh, knowledge generally each statement is either true or false. Okay. In a logic we are going to deal with the different different statement different different facts and objects. Okay. Generally we are going to deal here the statements that is either true or false. Logic includes syntax, semantic and inference procedures. So syntax, how to write that statement uh, in knowledge representations. Uh, we have to uh, preserve the semantic that is the meaning of that statement in our knowledge representations and inference procedure. And then after we have to create the inference, uh, uh, inference procedure or inference mechanisms to draw uh, some new conclusions over the existing uh, statements. For example, Ram and Sham are the brothers. Ram and Sham are the brothers. Ram is a one individual and Sham is another individual. Both are the human beings and they have a relationship between brothers. This is the fact. Okay, Ram and Sham are the brothers. So I can say that Sham is a brother of Ram. And we can also say that Ram is a brother of Sham. So this is the nothing about the inference mechanism. We have to create the uh, some method which will uh, by using that we can create some another uh, another statement or another facts. Okay. So this is nothing about the inf inference procedures. Now let's talk about the different syntax and semantics and inference procedure used in logic. Now first of all. Uh, uh, let's understand about the syntax. Syntax is nothing about the specific symbol in the in the language about how they can be combined to form the sentences. Okay. For example, Ram is a boy. So Ram is a noun. Is is a pronoun and boy is again a noun. So this is nothing about the symbols which is used in that language. Okay, that forms the sentences. The facts about the word are represented as a sentence in logic. Uh, everywhere we have a different different sentences. This is uh, these are the nothing about the facts. These these are the nothing about the facts represented as a sentence in logic. Now let's talk about the semantic. Semantics specifies how to assign a truth value to a sentence 
based on its meaning in the word okay every statement or every fact has some meaning we have to uh, we have to deal with what is the meaning and we have to preserve it in knowledge representations it specifies what the fact a sentence refers to a fact is the claim about the word and it may be a true or false okay every statement that also uh, that can be either true or false so that, they, uh, that is nothing about the semantics uh, inference procedure it specifies the method for computing a new sentences from the existing sen uh, sentences so that is nothing about the mechanisms we are going to draw on new conclusions using the existing uh, existing uh, facts or sentences uh, to draw on new conclusions okay or new uh, new facts to create a new facts so this is nothing about the inference mechanism or inference procedure logic used as a knowledge representation language logic is a language for reasoning a collection of rules are used while doing a logical reasoning logic is studied as a knowledge representation language in artificial intelligence yes logic is mostly or widely used in knowledge representation language in artificial intelligence logic is a formal system in which the formulas or sentences have a true or false values every time we have a either true values and false values logic are the different types uh, by using the logic we have a different different uh, types of representation scheme exist first one is proportional logic second one is uh, predicate logic third one is temporal logic model logic descriptions logic so these are the different different types of logic where we are going to use in knowledge representations so these are the different uh, type of logic where we use to represent our knowledge in knowledge representation scheme okay so in this session or in this series of knowledge representations we are going to learn about propositional logic and predicate logic so this these two are the very important in knowledge representation in artificial intelligence logic representations okay how to represent the logic using uh, syntax semantic and then after we are going to use the inference mechanisms logic can be used to represent the simple fact as i already said uh, logic is nothing about the simple statement or facts which can be either true or false the facts are claim about the word that are true or false to build a logic based descriptions user define a sets of primitive symbols and associated semantics every statement has a symbols every statement is built uh, using the some symbols and using some semantics logic defined a way of putting the symbols together so that user can define the legal sentences in the language that represent the true facts okay logic defines a way of inferring a new sentences from the existing existing ones in the coming video lectures we are going to first discuss about the proposition logic then after we will discuss predicate logic after that i am going to create a one video lecture which is based on inference me mechanisms or resolution principle which will be used in predicate logic or pro proposition logic so kindly watch all the videos which will be based on knowledge representation using logic that's all from today's topic jai hind jai bharat